What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. Oh my goodness. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I hate to do this one, but this one is just hilarious. Um, I, 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 I'm almost speechless on this one. Um, Twitter don't play. Twitter is crazy. Carson Wentz doesn't have to do anything to get clowned. Um, I'm looking forward to this season, and I'm actually going to be a Carson Wentz fan twice, twice this season when he plays the Eagles. And if the Washington Commanders can go into Philly at the stink and give Carson Wentz a victory – Oh my Lord. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how crazy it would be? Can you imagine how Philly 500 would be? Philly 500. Oh my goodness. You know what? I bet you Philly 500 would do one of these. I knew it would happen, Mark. I knew it would mother humping happen. You know, I'm pissed off, man. I'm frustrated because it pisses me off. Because that little bitch boy Carson Wentz, fat as hell last year couldn't run, eating donuts between snaps. This guy comes in in phenomenal shape. Phenomenal shape. You know what I mean? Like, why couldn't you come in last year phenomenal shape? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Because Doug Peterson wanted him to stay in the pocket, so he told him to get bigger. But Carson, he didn't get bigger the right way. He got fat. So now, you know, everybody's like, oh, Phil, you're crazy. He ain't fat. He's always been like that. He just stinks now. I said, no. He's fat. He's fat. He's going to go to Indianapolis, and you watch. He's going to come in perfect shape. Perfect shape. What happens, Mark? What happens? Carson Wentz comes in. He looks 30 pounds lighter. My God, he looks thin. It's ridiculous. Now he's going to go out and light it up, and I'm going to have to watch that crap. He better get me that first-round pick. He better get me that first-round pick. And thank God we have Jalen Hurts, because I don't know what I yeah, I can see Philly 500 going off on Carson Wentz if they were to win. That that would be much watch TV. In fact, I, I would I would pay to go to I, I would go to Philly just to see that one. But anyway, this is what I'm actually talking about. JJ Watt. JJ Watt is now clowning Carson Wentz. JJ Watt, let, let me show you what I mean. Let me switch cameras here. This is crazy, okay? J.J. Watt tweets out, I can't be the only one that sees a sad Carson Wentz, right? Take a look at this thing. Take a look at this action figure of J.J. Watt. Looking just like, I mean, it, it's true. It's true. That truly looks like a sad Carson Wentz. That was probably Carson Wentz when he found out he was going to the Washington Commanders away team. That's probably where they got that picture from and found out that this is what it's come to. I have to go to Washington. Oh, my goodness. And as you start looking at some of the tweets, because see, here's what happens. You know, that there's, there's certain things that start happening on Twitter that make you smile. When you see Carson Wentz is, is trending, you're like, uh-oh, your ears per perk up because it's like, what happened? What's going on? You know, it's those kind of things that you look forward to. Um, a young Big Ben definitely wins. Hi, you're right, JJ. You know our Carson, our Carson here in Philly. I mean, you just you look at <laughs> they are clowning him. Not until you met. No, dude, you had to wait till he mentioned it. No, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh my god, they they must have confused the Carson Wentz with the JJ. Somebody in production screwed that up. Um, I'm glad you were the one to point it out. Funny because it's true. <laughs> oh man, it's Carson Wentz for sure. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Oh, boy. Poor Carson Wentz. He doesn't even have to do anything. He doesn't have the same amount of games played last year, so not far off. But he won a big game or big in Roethlisberger. 
it's sad for Carson Wentz that he doesn't have to do anything. Look, look, look at, look at, oh man. He doesn't have to do anything to get clowned. Uh, nailed it. Oh, <laughs> oh I could do this all day because it's got over 20,000 likes on this. Oh boy. I, I, I love it. But you know what? I'm happy for the Washington Commanders because my man Rio, he has revisionist history when it comes to Carson Wentz, that he believes that this is the best quarterback they had in a long time. And I'm trying to figure out what's more sad, the fact that they haven't had a quarterback better than that or that they've got Carson Wentz. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys as well as you ladies. Hope you tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, for our live stream. We'll be live here as we count down to training camp, and I can't wait. Oh, my goodness. A couple of weeks, about two weeks, two weeks and a couple of days, we'll be headed to Oxnard to be covering training camp for you guys. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you soon.